Welcome to Voyageur Provincial Park, Ontario's most eastern provincial park, situated on the Ottawa River. That's Quebec, right behind us there. It's a bit of a rainy weekend, but we're going to spend some time... Beautiful grey skies. We're going to spend some time exploring this park on foot and by water. Join us. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season four of our park reviews. We hope this helps you when deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Thanks for coming along, Camping with the Coles. not wearing the mask anymore. All right, COVID is over. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. There we go. Okay, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Straight up. Straight, 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 straight. Yeah. Come in a bit more. A bit more, keep coming. Keep coming. A bit more. Okay, stop. Voyageur Provincial Park is located in the most eastern part of Ontario, at the border of Quebec near the city of Montreal. The park boasts four beaches on the shore of the Ottawa River. This is us, campsite number 84 in Champlain Campground. Let's check out this park. Voyageur has three campgrounds for a total of 148 electric and 267 non-electric sites. Champlain Campground has 58 electric and 44 non-electric sites. Iroquois Campground has 40 electric and 159 non-electric, some of which are pet-free and radio-free. Portage Campground has 50 electric and 64 non-electric sites. Portage Campground. This site it has a long driveway to back in. As you can see, they're quite private, surrounded by trees and brush.
there are seven comfort stations in the park, two here in Champlain, um, all with flush toilets, showers, and just one has laundry facilities, two in Iroquois with flush toilets, showers, and one has laundry facilities, and the other one is in Portage. It just has flush toilets and showers. Uh, there are two at the Day Beach. The one in the grassy area is a mini comfort station with individual toilets, flush toilets with uh, blow dryers, soap, water, garbage cans, hooks. And the one at the park store is male and female washrooms, no showers. There are five group camp sites, uh, four which can accommodate up to 100 people, one up to 50 people. They each have their own uh, set of vault toilets, which is kind of nice because a lot of them don't. They all have a fire pit, pe picnic tables, uh, water tap. Yeah, the group camp sites are pretty much out in the open, so you can see your neighbors. There are four beaches, one in Champlain, nice and sandy, one in Iroquois, also sandy, and two in the day use area. In the day use area, the one is sandy, the other is uh, grass going up to the water, and then it's uh, kind of rocky going in the water. There are no designated pet exercise areas. However, you can bring your leashed dog to any of the beaches. They're allowed on the grassy areas, they're just not allowed on the actual sandy areas. There are four playgrounds. There are two in Champlain, which are pretty bare and old, and there's two in Iroquois. In the Iroquois, they have a little bit more color and they look newer. There are two boat launches. This one right here is near the Iroquois campground. It can handle larger boats and has a parking area. The other one is in Champlain campground. It's for uh, smaller boats and it doesn't have a parking area. The park store has a few perishable items such as milk, bacon, cheese, and some cold drinks. A few non-perishable um, food items. There's personal items, some toys, and some camping supplies at the store. There's also a restaurant that you can pick up like hot dogs and burgers. Um, they eat outside on the patio. There are two trails in the park. This one here is a 2.7 kilometer linear trail, or if you're gonna walk there and back, it's 5.4 kilometers. It starts in the day use area and heads over to the Iroquois Beach, just goes around a bay. The other trail is more inland. It's a 1.8 kilometer loop. There are no designated cycling trails through the park, but there is over five kilometers of paved roadways. You can ride all around. Cell service is excellent for Bell, Telus, Kudo, and Virgin Mobile. Full service in this park. This is the trailer fill station. Once you go through the gatehouse, you keep on coming towards the campgrounds, and you'll see on the right-hand side of the road, there's a little pullover. The uh, hose, there's one area that's not threaded. You can put that in your uh, fresh water tank. There's a Y connector on it, so if you want, you can use the threaded part and attach your filter to that, and then you've got filtered water going in your fresh water tank. So that's pretty handy. I haven't seen this at uh, any other campgrounds before, having the Y connector. Uh, kind of like that. So on the opposite side of the water fill station is the dump station, so we'll have a look at that. One lane only. It is threaded, yay! Fishing for pike, bass, perch, and pickerel. What people are trying for here. We've seen people on shore doing it, and people out in boats. You can rent canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards at the store in the day use area. Ready to hike! I already got a little nibble out of my neck before I even started. August 9th and uh, we didn't think it's gonna be bad for uh, mosquitoes and deer flies and things like that uh, there's not many around the campground at all but uh, we decided to do the Courier de Bois trail and uh, we just got in a few meters and the mosquitoes came and deer flies so we're very glad that we still have these bug jackets that we we're wearing uh, at many of the parks on our last trip it has been heavy rain for the last two days so the trail's a little bit swampy, and that's probably why the uh, bugs are so active.
Cheryl's Lou Review. Um, so we've checked out a few of the vault toilets in the park. They're about the most primitive ones that we've been to in any of the parks. There's no running water, no soap, no sanitizer, no trash can, no mirror, no sensor light. They're all just pit toilets, which is a hole in the ground. Um, some of them that we've been to, even the women's, if there are a two-door one, the one would be out of order, which I don't know why, because it's a pit toilet. A um, little bit stinky. And I feel there should be maybe a few more vault toilets in some of the campgrounds because they seem far and few between if you're a tent camper especially. Um, it's a bit of a ways to get to one. I feel they could have maybe another one at the opposite end of the uh, loops. With that being said, I'm going to give them a skunk. <laughs> This so whole day's been a rain day, day, and this is what happened to rain days. Cards, Yahtzee, things like that. We were watching some uh, good videos. We even gave a sneak peek of our Grundy video and our Lake Superior video, which by now, it's old news. It probably came out a couple months ago. But uh, that's what we do on a rain day. We, but in that case, I would potentially keep an ace down here, keep a ten, so you don't have to okay. the pile. Okay, if you've got one. something higher than an eight, play. Time again for Cole's Notes for Voyager Provincial Park. Here we are. Here we are. This and has been our uh, wettest camping trip all season. We had great weather up until today, but Mother Nature decided it's time the Coles get a rainy day. She sure did. Yeah. We had a rainy We days. haven't seen the sun yet on this trip. <laughs> we arrived on uh, Sunday and it was pouring rain, 30 degrees and pouring rain. Um, and then uh, Monday, it was like 14 degrees and rained for most of the day. Uh, we had a, a break in the afternoon where we had mm -hmm. a quick campfire. Um, and then Tuesday, it was cloudy all day. That's when we did most of our activities. We went for a hike, we went paddling, um, we went for a bike ride. So that was all done on Tuesday when it was During overcast. breaks. Yeah, and today it's supposed to be sunny, but we haven't seen it yet. So yeah, it on this a trip- a bit this morning. Yeah, on this trip, the only sun we saw was on the drive here. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, that uh, doesn't 
help a lot in our review of the park because uh, it was kind of a dreary trip for us. But we're going to try to look past that. Yeah, we tried to do everything that we could here. <clears throat> yeah, we want to be able to give it a, a proper rating. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we couldn't see the area in the sun. It makes a big difference, especially when you have a lot of people at the beach and stuff. It makes a big difference. So pretend you see a lot of people in the background. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So as far as the park goes, um, the sites, we have a really nice big site. Yep. Yep. Good site. And uh, we're actually at our friend's site right now and Sue and John's site because they've got water access, so mm -hmm. it just looks nicer. Uh, for the drainage, we can talk about that because it's been raining uh, a lot. Uh, our site was on a bit of a slope, so it drains really nicely right into this site. So <laughs> then it goes into the, uh, the, the water behind us. But it's absorbed yeah. pretty much. Yeah, there's no puddling at all. The only negative thing, well, there's a couple negative things. Um, I feel there could be more signage, better signage in the park relating to certain things like dog free or dog run, dog beach areas. Um, just directions how to get, get out of the park in general, because I'm bad with directions. Um, another thing is I feel there could be more vault toilets, uh, more so in uh, non-electric areas because there seems to be like maybe one in a loop, and if you're at the far end of the loop and you're in a tent, you have quite a ways to go to find the vault toilet. So I'm thinking a few more vault toilets would be nice mm -hmm. to have. But that's just me. As far as campgrounds, uh, we're in Champlain Campground. Uh, we see that all three of the campgrounds have seasonal sites, mm -hmm. quite a few seasonal sites here. Um, if you're looking for a lot of privacy, you want to go to Portage. Portage, very, very uh, private sites, long driveways smaller, to get into it. I think they're smaller sites in general. Well, they seem think? to be an okay size, and, and it's, it's a long secluded. driveway to get there, yeah. yeah. You have to go right in and have a good look at them. Uh, so those are that's where you're going to get the most privacy. If you go to uh, Iroquois, uh, you're going to be right on top of your neighbor. They seem to be much smaller sites mm -hmm. and much more open. Yeah, they're, um, they're a bunch of small loops in that campground. Yeah, and then here in Champlain, it seems to be a happy medium. Uh, so we like to do trailer Champlain. friendly, I think here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So overall, what would you rate this? Well, uh, and see, this is where we're saying it is difficult because it wasn't being sunny and beautiful the whole time. Awful weather. But we're trying to picture it being really nice mm -hmm. weather and having a good time here. Um, like it didn't have. Any There's no visitor center. Or no visitor, yeah. but it does have a park store and restaurants. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Nice day use area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think as far as a rating goes, like uh, comparing it to other parks and stuff. Seven, seven and a half, seven. Yeah, I think it, it's kind of comparable to like Emily to me. Um, yeah, a little nicer because it has the store and, mm -hmm. and restaurant and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think we're going to read it a seven. So here okay. it is. Seven. Seven it is. Okay. And right from here. We are we going are, to Fitzroy. Fitzroy. About weather, an hour and a bit away. Weather forecast is sunshine. So, so we're, keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, so the next video you see, hopefully a lot sunnier, a lot less gloomy. So stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.